Hello, welcome, and welcome back to my channel. This is Art with Vicki C. Today I have a little bit of everything to show you, a haul, a new little gadget um, to show y'all. Um, so let's get started. Uh, as some of you know, I am doing stuff on my Addy machine, and I uh, purchased some more yarn. This is the, I love this yarn brand that you can get at um, Hobby Lobby. The, it's, can you use, it's number four weight. It is 100% acrylic and it can be, um, so put it in the wash machine, you can low dry it. Um, there's all the info on it for you. It was $4.99 a skein, but at the time that I bought this, Hobby Lobby was having a 30% off. And my sister-in-law, Missy, uh, recommended this. And I'm going to try to make uh, some little short ankle socks with this. Um, this is sloth, sorry, Soft and Sleek Baby. Uh, Baby B. Another Hobby Lobby. Uh, $3.99. So it was 30% off. Uh, it's another, uh, can be machine washed, four weight. There's all the stuff right there. And I'm going to see if this will work on my Addy. Um, I'm going to try to do a, and I'm probably going to kill this pronunciation, Amigurami uh, thing with this. And see what I can get. I've gotten to order me some little safety eyes, though, too, off of Amazon. Um, so there's that. And I also picked up, they had this marked down. This is the Hobby Lobby brand, or what they call Master's Touch is their stuff. Um, a gouache paint set for $5.49. And also a uh, watercolor set. I've had a set that I bought from Michaels, which was their brand years ago. And um, it's taken me, well... A lot of years, almost four years to use it, so I got Hobby Lobby's brand. Um, I did have the gouache set from, I want to say May, Mayfair, can't remember it, but it was in the little cups, and you had to stir it, and after a year of using it, I was just like, nah, I'd rather have something in a tube where I won't have to worry about it. Now, here's a little gadget that I picked up. This is a light that I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And um, I'm going to turn it on. So, my camera's probably going to get weird. But here we go. Okay. So, you see how it does. I'm going to turn the light off real quick. So, you can see. But it gives you this. And you can use it like a spotlight or do photos with it. But I thought it was kind of neat. So, yeah. And it's got a little button and you just turn it right off. So, that's some of the stuff that I've purchased um, and of course I've gone to Dollar Tree because who doesn't go to Dollar Tree just because they added a quarter. That'd be kind of silly. Picked up some doilies and I do use the smaller ones. These two sizes for creating and the bigger sizes I use those for food because my husband bakes and we put it on it and look all fancy. Um, the basket that you see right here. Um, I picked up, and it holds a good bit of yarn in it, and so I'm probably going to get me two more. These were $5, and they're built pretty good. Um, I've still got a lot in that one, but I'm trying to get it a little more organized with the yarn. And I also did pick up at Hobby Lobby the Timbo markers, the, uh, you know, portrait or flesh-colored ones, um, and that's the Hobby Lobby price. This was the first thing that I did with it. And um, she's okay. So I'm kind of having to get used to those. 
And I don't know if I showed you this little book or not. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. It's just a simple little, not Hobby Lobby, Ollie's. And uh, it was only $1.99. Just, you know, simple little thing like that. And uh, it's a work where I did. And then I picked up this one too. I just kind of liked it. And it was at Ollie's. And it's already decorated a little bit. But I'll use it for something. And I think this one was $2.99. So um, I am finally gotten time to show some art journal. Do art journal, I mean. And uh, been working in this one a little bit more. So we're going to look at this real quick. You may have seen some of these. I started this on the 3rd of February. And if I'm repeating, I'm sorry. Um, watercolor. i got to finish this page. I did a lot of watercolor at the beginning of this one. I wanted to see how it would hold up. And this is just a basic type faux leather looking front that you can get at Walmart. Um, like I said, I'm not sure if I showed some of these or not. And this was a pack of ephemera from Hobby Lobby. This is all uh, from a pack from Amazon. These, these. That came from an antique store that somebody sells vinyl stickers. Amazon. This was when I was with the Stick It Club. Um, just different things thrown together. Um, this was the last of some um, oh, pay stuff that I did and just put it all down. Um, stickers, ephemera from Tim Holtz Pack, Dollar Tree. Um, stickers. And this was one that I picked up at uh, Palmetto Peddlers over in Florence. That's Slash from Guns N' Roses. And just some writing stuff and different other things I added. And this was just some drawing play. Uh, this was from a Dollar Tree stencil. This was from a mold that I did a while back. One of those pressed molds, popped it out, glued it down. Um, this was just using acrylic, Posca pens, and just some random imagery and different things. So that's that. And that's all I've got to show you. I hope you all have a uh, blessed uh, day. And um, today's April the 22nd. That's Earth Day. Let's try to do a better job at taking care of everything around us. Um, because, you know, this is the only planet we've got. Y'all, take care. Bye-bye.